Aries, happy birthday and welcome back to my channel, Down to Earth Tarot. I've already shuffled this deck. This is look, taking a look at what is it that you need to know? What are they hiding from you? What's going on with your other person? Ooh, and we have the strength card. Are you dealing with the Leo Aries? We are definitely in your season here. Aries season started on the 20th of March, so we're feeling that. But with this, I'm, maybe there's a lack of confidence here. This was upside down before I put it in front of the camera but with this somebody's either lacking confidence with this situation trying to grow trying to do some type of personal growth here with the strength card but somebody's leveling up here is what I'm getting with the strength card whether they want to whether they're being forced to level up before they think that they're ready or whether they're ready to move on and and be confident in whatever it is somebody maybe this is you having a lack of confidence in this situation but confidence is key here we're going to start with that confidence is key Aries Ace of Staffs. So then lots of wands energy. Okay, Aries, we can see, we can feel you with this Ace of Wands. Brand new passion opportunities are here for you. This could be in dating, this could be with business or work, or this could be in some new hobbies, hobbies and endeavors that you've been um, thinking about lately. But brand new opportunities are coming to you. And again, with this confidence, whether you've been lacking it or coming into this new confidence, maybe that's what's bringing these new opportunities to you. You've changed your vibration. And so now new doors are opening for you. And making these opportunities readily available to you with this ace of wands energy fire sign fire sign fire sign energy already okay and the star aquarius energy um this is all about like i said maybe you've been thinking about something wishing on something these are these opportunities coming in you've poured yourself into something maybe even manifested this with the star energy um this is you pouring yourself into something and reaping those rewards so this is wish fulfillment here with the star card energy okay Happy birthday to you indeed. And then the tower, Scorpio energy. These are revelations, big change coming in. So this is something that maybe was revealed to you. Maybe you found something out. Maybe you discovered something. Maybe people were talking behind your back and you heard something and that caused you to jump ship, have to make some major moves here with this tower energy. This card is all about, like I said, revelations, things bringing down the house, making um bringing things down to bring you back to back to ground level to start something new or to re readjust re-look at things this is you having to take a closer look at something to really see what the hell is going on here with this tower card energy aries okay water and fire more fire sign energy here with the eight of wands you are not letting things or people hold you back here with this eight of wands energy aries leo sagittarius energy okay aries like i said we're feeling you all through this high emotions high passion you are i don't know if this is just because it's your birthday month and you're just taking full advantage or what but here you are not allowing yourself to be held back whatsoever whether that be in love you're keeping it moving if it's work and somebody's not appreciating you you're putting out resumes you're getting a new job if this is a new if this is business opportunity and your business partner isn't working or people aren't doing their part this is you moving on and making money moves for yourself you are not you are reaching for the stars here see what he's doing pointing at the stars the sky is the limit with this eight of wands not being held back in this energy and then the ace of coins i've been saying all month that this month is a big money making month for those who want to um move forward and put in the work with this ace of pentacles i feel like you're very much focused on money right now while you may be pouring yourself into love situations that could possibly be it but i feel like your focus is money opportunity and whatever this wish fulfillment i feel like you've been focused on your dreams lately and i feel like those things are you're finally able to with this ace of wands and this ace of pentacles you're finally starting to see the fruits of your labor labor coming in maybe you're starting to make money with this whatever this dream endeavor was aries or maybe you're starting to see okay there's light at the end of the and light at the end of the time my business is starting to grow i can feel I just need to hold on tight. That is this energy here with this Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. The Page of Coins. Yes, brand new business opportunities, brand new business and money, brand new opportunities and money, brand new opportunities at work with this Page of Pentacles. This is something brand new. Again, Page is a new person to me. And with the Pentacles, more Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Like I said, I feel like money's on the horizon for you. You're focused on your money right now. Whatever this... Um, is you've manifested this situation you've been waiting for these opportunities you're coming into your confidence here when, with whatever this is new money new opportunities new style and stable opportunities even if this isn't money maybe this is love new style and stable opportunities coming in for you aries mm -mm -mm, this is a good month let me know if this month has been going great for you i'm um, aries down in the comments the seven of wands more of your energy here aries leo sagittarius this is you taking i feel like this is you letting your defenses down i feel like with this thing that you've manifested this work that you're doing whether that be school work love whatever you're letting down your defenses whether you you really trust the situation or you're trusting yourself here again i feel like this goes back to the strength in reverse that i had um when i first picked this up that there was a lack of confidence here but i feel like you're 
letting that go. You're letting go of those walls. Maybe you um, have very high anxiety or you're very worried about rejection. You're letting that go because you know that whatever this opportunity is, this ace of staff, this ace of coins moment that you had this wish fulfillment on with the star card, you're going to take full advantage of that and you're not going to let your fears or think or old habits keep you back with the seven of wands energy. Okay, so we have the seven and the eight of staffs here. Major, major fire sign energy here. And again, with that manifestation energy, here's the moon. I had that Pisces moon a week and a half, two weeks ago. Pisces energy here. This is manifestation to me. This is looking at secrets. This is reevaluating things. This is to me, this is the card of like sitting in bed and looking back at your day, looking back at your week, looking back at your month. This is you reflecting on the situation. And again, manifesting that star moment. We have the star and the moon, the seven and the eight. You are do going through some type of major shift during your birthday month, Aries. Let me know what that is all about. Do you feel this too? That like major changes in money and maybe just your finances, maybe just building that foundation for your family. That is happening right now. And the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords in reverse here. This is some type of communication um, not coming in. Maybe there was a fight here maybe it's a leo person because we have this big cat attacking this person we have this leo energy here um maybe you're having to defend guard guard yourself or defend yourself against an air sign person gemini libra aquarius energy here with this sort of um knight of swords this like i said this is some type of communication that would be coming in but maybe this is some type of argument you're avoiding with looking back at the situation maybe taking a beat before you um go off on somebody aries you know how you like to go off on people and then um ask questions last and then we have the lovers in reverse gemini energy here this is a golden opportunity so again i don't know this could be love this could be the person that is your other half your soulmate though you have many soulmates in a lifetime so don't think that just this means that this is your one and done you could have many this could be somebody who teaches you a lot in love or maybe this situation whether it be work business career or love maybe this is a situation that taught you a lot in love and how to deal with people in situations maybe this taught you how to value somebody that you love with this lovers energy here interesting or maybe you're dealing with a gemini and you're trying to avoid a fight with a gemini or an air sign aquarius person we have aquarius here in the building and the three of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy here this is rejoicing this is reuniting this is coming together to celebrate this these are things this is things coming together and again with this being a money-making month for you aries this makes me think that this is business opportunities you celebrate and have at parties um drink into your accomplishments this is that energy again water sign energy um, I feel like you're just you've just poured into something. You've really poured your heart and soul emotions into something and now you're seeing the fruits, the benefits of that labor. Two of swords. You have decisions to make here. More air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then this dog. Maybe there was an issue with loyalty, and that's a decision that you're trying not to make. See how she's got the swords crossed over each other? Somebody's avoiding making a decision here. Maybe it has to do with loyalty, or maybe you're avoiding making this decision because you're worried about how you will look whether or not you'll seem loyal to this person. Maybe you're having to cut ties with somebody because they're no longer serving you. They're hurting you in this situation with this Two of Swords moment. And then the Wheel of Fortune, we're going to end it right on here because here is divine timing. Whatever it is that you've been working towards, you, you've you put in the work with this Ace of Coins. We know that you've done it. You're very passionate about this thing with this Ace of Staffs. You're in your own energy here with this Strength card. While that is the Leo card, we're in Aries season. So this is you. This is always confidence issues for me with Fire Signs, and I see the Strength card in reverse. I have it up right here because that's how I changed it, but it was in reverse. There's a lack of confidence here. You're coming into that confidence right now. You've put in the work. The universe is rewarding you for putting in that work and being steadfast and holding on to whatever your dreams or desires are. So with this of fortune this is a 10 so closing out a cycle you have a decision you need to make here maybe it's cutting ties with somebody to finally um raise your vibration to that next level to really let all these things come pouring down onto you all of this abundance and good wishes abundance in finances abundance in love abundance in just happiness in general here aries let me know what's up with that down in the comments do not forget to like comment and subscribe but with this Wheel of Fortune, you're leveling up. Like I said, leveling up, leveling up. This is your birthday season, and I feel like the universe has given you the gift. Whatever gift it is that you've really been waiting for, that is this. So, Aries, please let me know if this resonated for you. I'll be putting out new videos tomorrow morning, as a matter of fact. Check out my other content. Um, I posted a lot this um, past weekend, earlier this week. And find me on my social media for a personal reading. I am on Instagram, at down the number two, Earth Tarot. And I'll be checking in with you soon, Aries. Happy birthday.